Hello everyone. We will continue the batch input recording method of LSMW. In the previous video, we finished the first two steps. In the first step, we choose the batch input recording method to transfer the data. And in the second step, we gave a name to the source structure. Now we will jump on to our third step. What is the third step? Define source fields. It means we have to define the columns in the source structure. Means what are the various fields or columns in the source structure. So how many columns data we are passing from the file? We are passing that data of five columns from the file. Material number, industry sector, material type, material description, and unit of measurement. It means I will define these five columns in the structure. So I will go to the third step and I will go to the execute button and I will define the five columns here. If you remember, when you did the data migration through BDC, you, we did the same to same thing. We defined the five columns in the structure. Now we will give the five columns. How to give? You can put the cursor on the structure click on to create field button. What is our first column? Matinar. Suppose label is material number. I can check the length and type from the table itself. So I will go to Mara table and we will give Matinar. Matinar is character form. So I will give the length as 40 correct. First column done. After adding the first column, whenever you want to add the column after that, put the cursor on first column. Why I'm saying this? Because if you will put the cursor on the name of the structure itself, then what will happen? Whatever the columns you will add after that, it will go above Matina. It will go above that column. Suppose I'm putting the cursor here. I'm going to create field. I'm adding the second column, suppose industry sector. Industry sector. Suppose I'm saying length is one character type because in that table, industry sector is character one. I'm going for okay. Have you seen industry sector is now above Matina, but in the file, what is our sequence in the file? Firstly, we have material number and then we have industry sector. So what is the way to add? Whenever you are adding first column, put the cursor, put the cursor on the structure name itself. But after that, Rather than putting the cursor on the structure, put the cursor on the columns itself. Suppose I'm deleting this, whatever I added. Now I'm adding the cursor on Matinar column. I will go to create field. MBRSH, industry sector, character one. Have you seen MBRSH is after Matena? Now I want to add material type after industry sector. So I will put the cursor on industry sector and then I will add the material type. MTART. What is MTART? Length and type is character four. Material type. It is character four. So this is one way to add the columns in the structure. But just think in the real time projects, 
if you are passing that data of so many columns from the file then see this is a very time consuming process you need to add the columns one by one to the source structure so sap provided a shortcut and when you think that you have so many columns from the source structure in the source structure you always has to go for that shortcut how how we can do that for that you can go to sc11 go to data type and create a structure suppose i am giving some name to the structure create structure suppose i will give that description as source structure now what are what are the columns you have or whatever the fields you have simply add in the structure what is the first column matena what is the data element for matena matena what is the second column industry sector what is the third column material type what is the fourth column material description makatx data element makatx what is the fifth column unit of measurement meins type meins activating the structure saving this as a local object now the structure is ready for the five columns whatever the columns are required in the source structure so simply do one thing suppose i will delete this which i added one by one you can put the cursor on the structure name source fields copy fields choose the radio button copy from data repository and pass the structure which you created so it will simply copy the columns from the structure and will i it will simply copy the columns from the structure and pass here i am pressing enter and you can see all five columns came here this is the best suitable way because project legacy files has lots of column you have so many columns in the source structure so what is the best way create a structure in sc11 then use the option copy from data rep copy fields and copy from data repository i will save this third step now what we did in the third step we defined the columns in the source structure or we defined the fields of the source structure now i will go to fourth step i am going for execute i will go to change mode in the fourth step sap by default did the mapping why sap did the mapping by itself because we have a single source structure we only only took the single source structure but in the project it might be the case you have multiple source structure you have multiple files so in that case sap will not give the by default mapping so what you have to do in that case suppose you want to bind first structure you want to bind second structure you want to bind third structure then in that case what you have to do you have to simply put the cursor and you have to click on to the relationship button what the structure you want to bind suppose in this case we have a single single source structure so i will show you how to bind suppose i am deleting this how to bind you have to put the cursor and whenever you will click on to the relationship button in this case we have a single file we have a single source structure so whenever i will click on to relationship button it is automatically mapping with this with this 
but whenever you have multiple source structure all source structure will be visible you can choose whatever the source structure you want to find now we will understand the meaning of the fourth step what is the meaning of fourth step what is this this is the name of your source structure this is the name of your source structure what is this this is the name of the recording so what we are doing whatever is coming from the legacy whatever is coming from the source you are passing it to the recording and in bdc also we did the same to same thing if you remember whatever the data is coming into the legacy our legacy data came into this internal table and we passed to the recording one by one same thing whatever is in the source structure this is legacy legacy source structure you are passing into the recording if you have multiple source structures if you have multiple legacy files then you have to simply click on to the relationship button and you can assign the relationship here we have single file single source structure so sap automatically find it just put focus on this arrow we have a arrow from legacy to recording we are passing the legacy data to the recording now i will simply save the fourth step now whenever i will jump on to the fifth step the fourth step will 100% make a sense to you i will go to my fifth step now define field mapping and conversion rules i will go to change mode now now you have to do field by field mapping in the previous step what you did you did the mapping of source structure to the recording now we have to do field by field mapping means source structure legacy structure this column will go to this matinar will go to matinar industry sector will go to industry sector your material type will go to material type your description will go to description your unit of measurement will go to unit of measurement so we have to go for field by field mapping here means legacy material will go to recording material how to do you can put the cursor click on to source field and you can see we have legacy matinar source structure matinar suppose if i will select you can see your legacy matinar is going to recording matinar if you see in bdc you did the same to same thing whatever the matinar is coming you passed it to matinar mbrsh mbrsh mtart mtart maktx maktx meins meins same thing we are doing now i will go to industry sector source fields industry sector now say it's a very time consuming process just think suppose we did previously the shortcut how to copy the fields just think if we have 500 or 600 fields will you go to one by one and do the mapping it's a very time consuming process so sap simply gave a shortcut you can use that shortcut what is the shortcut you can go to extras there is a shortcut auto field mapping i will go to okay it is saying do you want to map material type with material type yes accept proposal maktx with maktx yes meins with meins yes okay have you seen all mapping done automatically mtart mtart maktx maktx meins meins 
So always prefer the shortcut. What is the shortcut? Extras photo field mapping. And you can accept the proposal one by one. Now I will save this. So what is our learning in this video? In this video, we discuss three steps. Define source field, define structure relation, and define field mapping and conversion rules. Rest steps, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.